Dusk of Boss today is episode 3 of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, I've done a small bit of grinding. I have a ton of. Where is this stuff? Uh, EXP candies, rare candies, and Dynamax candies. Haven't fed any of them to my guys yet, but uh, I plan to. Um, I just wanted to go over um, a couple of things. So one, if you have the deal, the um, if you have the double pack and you got the uh, your Tyranitar or your uh, you want your like what's his name? You want your not Axew, what's his name? Tyranitar. Uh, this way you do, you come, as I was saying before I got really interrupted, you come here to this, um, to this tower in the, um, wild area, come here, you go all the way here, enter your bag, you go into your candy, you're gonna get your, the star item, you put it, you activate it here, it'll tell you it's here, a giant, purple beam, much like this one, will appear. You click on it and it enters a raid battle for you to get a Chimo or, Tyra or uh, Tyranitar. And this is supposed to be for a... Oh! I can get this already? God damn. Well, I'm gonna go and get myself a. Well, yeah, my my dreadnought. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click invite others. <laughs> Battle already start. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Ugh, I hate my pants. Ugh. <laughs> This is it, Galarian Yamask. If you already couldn't tell, he's not having a mask. He has a stone thingamajig in the shape of a tail. Kind of cool. Dynamax. Ooh, what's more effective, ground or or ground or dark? I guess I guess they're both super effective. This is ineffective. Oh, what were my stats again? Uh, yeah, me. No, 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 not like that. Alright, so I'm physical nature, so whatever my physical attack. Yeah, this is the number I gotta go with. Here we go. <clears throat> Max Phantasm? Ah, oh, come on! Cheer them on. Let's go. Now oh, here's something interesting I'd like to add. Um, well, not interesting. This is something really weird. So, in episode two of my le of this Let's Play, um, the ending got cut before I can do my ending screen, even though I was just about to do it. My uncles um, came over, and they tried to enter my grandma's uh, house. They've got the password, um, because the alarm went off, and therefore, I'm hearing the alarm, and 
my little sister is telling me to like go and s and see who's down there. So I had to cut the video immediately <laughs> because I was worried that um like my grandma's house was gonna get uh, robbed for like the empty tiny. It's so lame. It's like, they don't even call and let us know that they're coming. Normally they do, but... Like... Nothing... Happened. And then after that I had to help them with the... Moving uh, tires and... Stuff. It... It was just like a load of like... Wow, you couldn't have called and let us know? <laughs> Normally they do. Normally they do. So my uncle is Mr. Last Minute. So yeah. I'll probably get into that story some other time. Iron Tail. Yeesh. What's with this team? X Phantasm. Why'd that have to one shot me, I swear? Also, at the moment, I am uploading, test uploading the, um, the Sword and Shield, uh, second episode. It, it's just, like, in the middle of being processed right now. It finished, like, getting uploaded, but now it's being processed. So I've already said, okay, like, upload when it uploads. Ah, uh, good, finally. Status condition. It's okay, Pikachu. Oh, goodness. Oh, finally, my bike kicked in. Bite? Come on. I need like... What? Whatever. Whatever. Thank you though, I needed that a small bait. Oh, come on. Just don't wipe us out yet. You're almost dead. Whatever. Just make sure you die. Ah. Uh... Every time it's their turn, they get a... If I didn't die, like, immediately, I would have gotten... I would have had this. Switch partner. Where is he? Dreadnought. We almost had it. No, wait. Is the other one I have? Yeah. Oh. Let's like him for now and see how he does. Uh... And go, let's try this one more time. <coughs> I'm gonna try this one one more time. If not, I'm gonna cut out uh, the first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend the part by like nine minutes. <laughs> Alright, and. Go for darkness. <coughs> Go. Go, jaw dropper. Ah, good. Now we know how much damage that would have done. I'm looking at my recording, and it's fine. 
but for some reason it's always in the red. I don't get it. That's telling me my guy's red as well. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay. It's just that magic carp. Alright. One more time. Alright, way to go, Magikarp. You... You netted me a Yamask. Let's see... Great Ball. Great Balls of Fire! Shadow Ball! Nice! Ooh, I got 17 of these candies. Awesome! Alright. Yamask. What gender is this thing? Female. Uh. You know what? I just wanted a female one of you. A reference to Mary Skelter, the game. Let's see here. Ooh, Bolowski has a super potion. That's nice. Uh... Can... Nicotine. I want to... This is the thing. It's dark. You know what? I'm going to put in... I'll put in Dreadnought right now, just so I can have Skelter. So with that, I'm going to head towards the exit to the area. And when I get there, I'll fully evolve, I'll evolve my Squirt Bunny. Because I want him to reach level 17, so when he... So, before he evolves, he gets, um, Flame Charge. In fact, I think that could be used for a very good speedrunning tactic at... Because you're getting a move that can boost your character's speed. Hey, Vulpix. Anyway, before I touch that, let's go to my bag. How much candy should I use to evolve Dancing Bomb? These are a hundred each. I think these are like 800 or so. So I'm gonna give this to you, and I'm gonna give you like. Actually, I wanna see here. This, I'm gonna put two on and see what happens. Oh, 17. Right on the nose. Let's learn flame charge. Sure. Hold on, let me think. Take it out, Growl. I never use Growl. Oh, well, there's that. And Score Bunny's evolving. Raboot. There's that, and I also... Oh wait, I have... Alright, hold on. There's something I gotta do right now. Uh, I just want to show you guys something. So, over here, you see by that tree over there? Sm like, just in the area where the... 
Mud's nail is. Yeah, you see this tree here? There's a bridge here. This place has access to mega strong Pokemon. They're like in their 20s, 30s and such. But over here there's an area. If we look on our map. There's an area. Oh no, wait. Wait, can I go through here? Okay, good, I can. So there's a place here called the Dusty Bowl. If we go underneath that with a really, really low HP uh, Yamask, it will evolve. Or at least I'm praying it evolves. Because everyone says it's like it has to be like 49 or less HP, and it's like, doesn't matter what level it's at. Because I had a Pokemon at like level 30 or so, and I'm like, it needs to be in the red. But if you catch it in a max rate battle, it'll be, you know, it'll already be at 1 HP. So I'm taking advantage of this. I'm taking full advantage of this. Just don't bug me. Take in the music. There it is, in the distance. there just underneath this thing you know you're probably saying that doesn't look like anything like a bowl it's what this area is called and we should get an evolution if not I'm gonna seriously get mad um, this is the dusty bowl right Yeah, I'm at the Dusty Bowl. There's an item over there, I'll go get it. Ooh, wow, Comet Shark. Yow. That's a ton of money. Rare Bone. Sunstone. No. No. It doesn't have to be in front of my party. I've done this before. Give me one second to get it. I'm just gonna walk underneath this thing. Oh no, wait. What if I... No. Hold on, I'm gonna give it a couple of candies. Before I do that, how much would I need to evolve you? Check summary. I would need 12.
I don't get it. How much HP do I have? I have 3 HP. Does it have to be in like battle or something? Or have to have been in battle? I don't know. I'm gonna. Holy cow! I'm gonna use a Poké Doll on this thing. I. This must be exclusive to the sword. Okay. That's why I have Poké Dolls. Let's head back in towards this thing. Oh, that's crafting. Okay. Oh, yeah, I seriously don't understand this. I am at the Dusty Bowl. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna swap out Yama. Uh, I'm gonna swap out Skelter for somebody else. For a jaw dropper. It doesn't matter what part of its party do you want. Could someone confirm with me, like, how that works? Because I did it before, like, not like that effective immediately after catching it, but it's like, I caught it, leveled it up like once or twice, came back here to Dusty Bowl, and basically got to work with a Focus Sash that I found. So... Yeah, I thought like, oh hey, I'm at 1 HP already, I'll go down there and exploit this. It's like, no. Oh hey. Like, it's... Cerebi's telling me otherwise. 49 plus damage. But, I got it with 1 HP, so... Your HP, not that it doesn't matter, but it doesn't tell you like... Very low, extremely low, anything else like that. So, I don't know. Well, anyway. If we talk to this guy, because we don't have the fire ranch, he'll just take us back to the riverbank. Huh. That sucks. I don't know why that doesn't work. It worked before. Why isn't it working now? Whatever. We're gonna head inside. And the second episode of Sword and Shield uh, is fully processed. So it's up on YouTube now. So you guys can go watch that. Anyway, I'm extending this video a small bit, because that whole shenanigan I thought was going to work, and I don't know why it's not working anymore. Could it be that I don't have access to it or something? Like, you have to beat the first three gyms or whatever to get it? I don't know. Jesus. Uh, oh, Sultan. Come on, center.
We got Leon's lead card. And immediately, I hate this guy. All right. So yeah, this is the first game where you can, you know, uh, like create your own like card. I like this. Effect power up frame. Yep. Next. Perfect. Uh, expression. Actually, no, I could be a little smaller. My expression. Whoops, sorry, no post expression. Yeah, I like that face. And this, nope, sorry, wrong one. Yeah, I like that. Walking. Like, I'm walking, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, nah. I'm not gonna do that. So, let's go to the gym challenge, right? Oh yeah, there's a free item over in this corner here. Isn't there? And <laughs> he throws Pokeballs in the trash. Funny guy. It's a... You can't throw a few British terms in there. Some guys are right, man. You can't throw a few British terms. You have to commit. It's called a post box. Super Potion. Speaking of Super Potion, I forgot about Belowski. Oh, if you heard something just now, that might have been my sister playing Fortnite. Let's head over here. And we're stopped by, of course, the only Pokemon that makes that sound. Even with you, I still get lost. Hell yeah. So Leon will be giving you the item that will help out your starter. So if you pick score binding like I do, it's charcoal. If it's sobble, it'll be uh, the mystic water. And Kuki will be the miracle seed. It's permanent use, but it only ups the power of those kind of moves. So we'll just up your starter's power and just up like up the power of their moves. So if you have a fire type move on your Pokemon, it'll play up that, which is why with Score Bunny, with its fire type, fire, fire, and fire. So you can get more boost. We talk to the guy with the Pokeball and uh Yeah. I'm not just any old Pokeball. The answer is simple. They call me the ball guy. <laughs> Ball guy. Wow. Let's head here. Model Stoke Stadium. Scott is stoked. Yep, let's go make names for ourselves. As. Hmm. Alright. Do we have this? Gym Challengers, if we... 
You know what's funny? How do we, how would we, like, here's the thing, you know how the wishing stone or whatever, um, wishing star becomes your Dynamax band? It's more like, oh, you're special, but like, anyone else who, everyone can, can, they are allowed to participate, but it, if the gym leaders and the gym, like, like, the gym, the gym leaders have, like, the Dynamax band, and you have yours, it's kind of unfair. Let me get to the zero. There we go. Double zero. I love my infinity. Sure, fancy digs. Let's go. Hello, who are you? You look a bit gobsmacked by all this. <laughs> you are so British. Pretty. Hey, yo! I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, I'm I'm, I'm the elite. Oh boy, you you sir, you sure sound like blue. Sorry for the slur. Uh, you sure sound like blue. Oh, that's much better. Chandra Nas, the do drop in, and they spell in the way I like it, like the yield England kind of in. Well, that's, uh... I'm not gonna say anything. <coughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I'll probably say when I make it to the third gym. <sighs> so this does work. So all I have to do now is just like keep recording parts and uh, yeah, that'll be good. Jeez. Hero, fancy. Give me all the details. They called it the darkest thing. Oh, this wasn't present when I played it initially. Hmm. Good to know. Black Storm. Is this also talking about the Dynamax and that the Darkest Day caused Dynamaxing? You'll be alright, Sonya. <laughs> Thanks. You twirling your hair. It's, mm, it's varying for me. And hold on, let me think of my Pokemon for a second. Thought as much. Let me see here. Good. Let's rock it. I'm up for that. I can't get enough of this theme. It's pretty damn good. <laughs> One kick! Kindle level up. Actually, I need to level up Kindle a little bit more. Fight and lost. Yep. Um, let me think here. By the way, what's something really weird? Hold on, I'm gonna show you it here. Yeah, the person that I'm fighting is a woman. I never noticed that in my first playthrough. 
I kept thinking it was a guy. <laughs> I only like notice. So yeah. Here comes my here comes my kid. If you're hearing anything, my dog's barking. One moment. I'm back. Pulaski. Give me your wallet. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So that is my brother. <laughs> he uh he just got back home. I have to make a ton of cuts in this video. Doesn't matter. Make you use quick attack, fine by me. All of two damage. Kick to the face. Oh, also my second one kicks you in the face. I'm kidding. Yep. I'm I am one kick one kick for dead man. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this Marnie's thing? Or is this just the hotel? I think it's the hotel. Yeah, no, no, no. This is, uh, this is the hotel. I'm mistaken. Thank you, and uh, that's the nos. Ah, sounds so boss. Hooligans. <laughs> the next day. Was Marnie pretty damn good character she evolves immensely throughout uh... thank you for taking me back let's enter here and get suited up for the uh... Ex exhibition what's it called oh yeah Well, let's get suited up for the event, basically. So I got my suit all tailored and ready to go. Took a day. Heck yeah.
There's Chairman Rose and his assistant. Get her name. The Pokemon League. Oh god, this is too fast for me to read. I just barely read that. Greatest champion in history. But yeah. Let's invite the gym leaders. Yeah. I look forward to fighting it out. <coughs> Pardon. Here we go. There's there's Bia. So here comes Milo. The Raging Wave, Nessa, <laughs> Loch Ness, Kabu, <laughs> Fire Types. I like this guy. Karate Prodigy, then Bia. Theater Fairy Type User, Opal. <laughs> Rock type master Gordy and Tamer of Dragons Raihan. The so we fight Raihan last, and we're missing one. So Grass Water Fire fighting Fairy Rock Dragon. Um. Yeah, with one missing. It's pretty obvious what the final gym leader is going to be. Well, final what the missing one is. Oh, wow, mine just stepped in ahead of me, and there goes Hop. And I'm just looking at everybody like, oh my goodness. This is awesome. And that's it. In the stadium, in front of everyone, it was awesome. There's no words for it. I swear. All right. So I'm gonna speed through this. I dare say this. Yeah. So this guy's looking into Dynamaxing and like what causes it. At least it's not like the bond of friendship or whatever. <laughs> it's like Dynamax energy or something. It's so weird. For someone who's been in the game, uh, it's like really jarring when I've like, not that I sped through it, but I like looked at the game, looked at all the lore and it's like, they didn't really explain how Dynamax happens per se. And if they did, I missed it. Flying Taxi, so this is Fly, it works with your, uh, what's it called? It works with your map, town map. Uh, let's see, am I missing something? Uh, nope. Look for this Mancino. Mob Warp. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> oh, forgot about this item. You gotta have Burn Heal. Went back to the owner. Um. Oh yeah, right. I didn't say that last time. Um. 
just because I have you guys right now, I should have said this earlier, but I was preoccupied with a couple of things. But um, basically, I, I I'm an avid Pokemon fan. I make like I like not the competitive scene, but I like making my Pokemon as good as they can be. Like I don't use, I don't I do not use the most competitively viable Pokemon. Like my favorite Pokemon of all time is Typhlosion, so yeah. And it's mainly due to the fact that's my starter, my, my first starter. And what stinks for me is um, I'm not really good at making tanks. I'm good at making sweepers. But here's the thing with a tank, I don't want it to just be, oh, um, like poison, protect, like stall tactics. I don't like using stall. My most su successful um, tank was a Snorlax with uh, Earthquake, Zen Head, but Giga Impact, and Rest. And basically, it uh, it practically swept through an entire Psychic team single-handedly. I have that recorded. Well, not recorded. I have that on record. I just don't have it like up on YouTube. I need to use. Oh, I'm mean, gonna upload that in March. Out comes the woo Keep up, mate. <laughs> no, dude, you keep up. You're like, yeah, I was about to say, like, level 10. <coughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to outfit my, uh, my team. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for a um, for a tanky kind of set, because I was thinking with uh, what's it called? Not Chippy with uh, with uh, School Vet. Well, not with like School Vet's evolution. I was thinking like, oh, it has this ability. Therefore, uh, like I think it's called Cheek Pouch, and basically it allows you when you eat a berry to gain more health off that berry, and it has a move that lets it eat the berry. So therefore, you eat the berry, you get the the status. You no, you eat the berry, you get your health back, you get more health back with your ability. And I'm just like, okay, that stinks. Where's the other thing? And I was trying to think of how do people get shinies in um, what's it called, sun and moon? And I was just like, okay, let's see if I can mimic a tactic like that for uh, reusing that berry to to completely heal myself. For uh, school vets evolution, I think that would be a good uh, tactic with like uh, what's it called? Stockpile, snarl. Why not tail whip? Rikidi, now keep my turn. This will make my video victory all the better. Hops League card, the League Hops card. Alright, Apostwick. Wait, what? Oh no, another champion from Apostwick. Uh, with that, let's outfit my team a small bit. I have a bunch of these candies and I need to outfit my, my guy here for... That's, that's 8,000. Right? Oh, that's a thousand. Oh, wait. 
Oh, okay. Come on. Can the one stone roar? Switch that off for tail whip, I guess. Core weave. I'm gonna give you five of these. Let's one pluck. Switch out for peck. Let's learn taunt as well. Uh, nah. Oh! Rookie D wants to evolve. Sorry, that was my mom. Give me one moment. Sorry about that. Just want to make sure it evolved at the proper... Oh, it evolves in at level 18. Whoops. Uh... Ah, uh, whatever. I'm learning a move early. It doesn't matter. In a way. That's there. Kindle nicotine. I want Balowski here outfitted. Made four of these. There we go. Let's learn bite, sure. Growl. And poof. I'll give you the rest. Just give me one second, I want to see your thing. Oh, six. And with that, I'm gonna bench Core Weave right now. I'm just gonna bench him quick, quick. And no, I don't want to throw in Skelter. Cut this off screen. You know what? Let's throw in. Going you for an evaluation. Oh no, wait. I need to. Good night, him. Put him back. Thank you, Blowski. The great Blowski. Huh. Okay. Oh, Galarian Zigzago. Right, let's catch this thing. I need to make this part a tiny bit longer, so yeah. I was about to end it here, I'm like, wait, didn't I, like, gallivant for, like, 12 minutes? <coughs> oh. Oh, wait, I just killed it. Let me finish the second one here. Quick attack! Awesome. Okay, now I can catch this thing. I also forgot I have quick balls. Shoot. Great ball, go! Ooh.
call this guy... Obstacle? <laughs> I want him in my party. Wait, hold on. Does he have... Pickup. Yo, he has pickup. Boss. At the party. Hold on. Uh, evaluation. Another new one. This is our Dossafle. Because I caught a male, um, gl uh, goss, go uh, gossifler. Only because. Whoops. Oh, gossamer. It's in the box. Next in the box. Wait, who's in, who's in front? Bouncing bomb. Alright, let's rock. Mm. Alright. So. It's been an hour. I'd like to thank you all for making it this far within the hour. And for putting up with my, well, interesting commentary. <laughs> I mean, ah, <gasps> Bernowski. Oh, thank you for that. I'm gonna use payday. Ah, so close. Another one. Oh, obstacle comes out. Like I guess. High out speed. Assurance. Hmm. Nah. This one's a more special attacker, but I'm keeping him on for pickup. Oh, there's a trubbish over there. Sweet. That's like a... That's interesting. School by Marvin. Hello. When I beat you, give me your wallet. Flame charge. Oh good, another one. I'll burn it too. Mm. Obstacle once to learn headbutt. Sure. 
<sighs> yeah, of course. Sonia. Hey, Gym Challenger, let's rock. Where's Hawk? He went on ahead. Yep. He can't sit still. And neither can I. Yeah, so no longer is escape rope a uh, item you must buy. It's given to you now and you can use it to escape basically from anywhere. I've never come to use it and... Ooh, really coolie. Alright. Quick ball. Ah, damn it. It's a girl. Fudge. Uh, dang, I want a boy. <laughs> Whatever. I, I caught it for the decks right now. What was her name? Okay, that was her name. Alright, this one I'm gonna call the female one. If anyone anyone is gonna get is gonna get the, the character I'm trying to name it off the first one, I'll be impressed. Let's see. Good, it's a boy. Do a quick ball. All right, now I can name him properly. So this is gonna be my name one. Sorry, I'm gonna do this. Tell me I'm not the only one who was like humming this theme song when this poke when this Pokemon was announced. Oh, Balowski. Hi, uh, John Dropper's gonna head back for Roly Coley Oli. And uh, let's see if we can get an interesting encounter. There is a 1% encounter Pokemon here, and it's super annoying, and I'm not gonna hunt for it. But I'm gonna tell you what it is, though, since if you want to, you can hunt it here or in front of the next location, but in there, there's a Pokemon uh, called uh, Sizzillipede. Sizzillipede. It's fire bug and it has mm, like flash fire or something for its ability. So, double kick. Right in the face. One kick. That's all it takes to pure, puree my cat. I have a dog, but yeah, your cat, whatever, fudge. Scroll off. It's the scroll that covets. Ugh. Ah, come on, bouncing bomb. Uh, there is a TM here? Yes, there is. We saw it on top from below there. Beat up. Oh. 
I'll show you what I carry letters in victory. Well, let's see about that. Postman Tad. Actually, I want to take, pay close attention to this guy's name. If you flip the the uh, D in his name and then turn it to the side, and then you swap that uh, that P with the T, you get Postman Pat. <laughs> Just wanted to put that out there. It's a potential reference. <laughs> I doubt it though. Della Bird. Uh, fire! Twenty in a bit. Red Sauce coming your victory. Of course. Oh. Hello there. Cherry berry. All right. Set up right here. Let's just enter it quick, quick. So we have this registered. I think we have to enter it to register it. If not, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this part. I'll just do a couple of battles in here. Maybe I'll do a couple of random encounters and then I'll just, you know, like end the part. I'm gonna see if we can find a Sizzlipede, but I doubt I'm gonna find it anywhere. Yeah, this thing. Just gonna do a couple of encounters for it on screen. It's like 1% encounter. Come on. Get the face. What's cool about this is Lilipede. Is it's uh, abilities. And Dotler. How are you doing? Kick to the face. Oh boy, Peter. You keep listening to people older than you. I have way more experience than you, kid. Anyway. In, in these grass... Hold on. Encounter. I'm gonna do, like... I'll do ten encounters here, see what happens. After that, I'll end the part here. That's two. Yo, my chop. I'm gonna catch this thing. If you're wondering why I got all these quick balls, the guy outside uh, tends to sell them. There's a, uh, he's one of those white, um, uh, those white coated uh, guys with shades. He sits right next to a, uh, to the camp master guy. And basically, they're just to the right of the, uh, of Model Stoke. Forgot to mention that. I can name him. Oh, it's a girl. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? I'll rename it later. <laughs> I've, I've, like... I have like eight encounters left to do. I don't have time to think on a name. Seven left. Mud break.
This is Route 3, correct? Yeah, it's a 100% encounter. I've encountered almost everything except for Clink and the Sizzlepeed. Five encounters. Something like that. After this, don't worry, I probably won't have a Sizzle repeat after this. Alright, last one. Nope. Well, what's that? Uh, thank you for making this far, and I hope you have a good day. Till the next one. Okay. Ciao.